What's up guys, in this week's TTG news we've got some races to talk about and then some kind of wacky stuff, so be sure to stick around. First off we have the Ironman 70.3 in Zymen, which was won by the Australian Josh Amberger for the men. So it seems that in a lot of his races he always seems to make a lead but then he gets caught, but this time he actually won the race so that's awesome for him. Actually managed to hold this lead, so sweet deal for him. And then for the women, Jenny Seymour, who we've talked about before in a lot of Ironman races, she won for the women. Another racer, Emma Pallant, actually caught up to her on the bike and passed her and uh, was leading by a minute or two, but ended up kind of totally dying on the run and she didn't even end up finishing the race. And uh, Jenny Seymour won, so there you go. Ironman 70.3 Zyman. So before we talk about more Ironman news, I want to tell you guys about this really interesting and kind of weird product that seems a little wacky, but it might actually work. So it's made by a company called Neuro Halo. Halo Neuro? It's made by a company called Halo Neuro, and it's called the Halo Sport. So it's basically a system that was designed to help people who have seizures like listen to like crazy sound waves and uh, helps them not have seizures. And they're trying to implement this technology for helping triathletes to be better prepared for training and races. Basically what it claims to do is to send electrical signals into your brain that primes your neurons to help you learn better. So how they're saying this would work for triathletes is you'd listen to it before a training session where you're gonna be working on your form. So if it's a swim, you would do like freestyle drill or a bike, I guess, or pedal stroke or stuff like that. And then it would help you learn those forms a lot better, a lot faster. According to them, that's what you could be using it for. So it sounds really interesting. If you wanna test this out, it costs 700 bucks. I don't know if I'd really recommend that because I don't see a lot of people saying it works and you're basically just going off of their word but definitely something interesting and maybe we'll keep seeing it in the future. Now another Ironman race that just went down was the Malaysia 70.3 and the winner for this one was Freddy Kronberg who is kind of a newer triathlete, I had never heard about him but he finished first for the men and he actually ended up making up seven minutes in the bike and won the race by 33 seconds. So in an Ironman race, it's very rare that people are gonna be finishing that close together. So that's awesome for him. This is his first ever Ironman win. For the women, Diana Riesler won. This one was a lot less close. She just slowly gained some time and ended up winning the race by almost 10 minutes. The last little thing I want to talk about this week is if you are getting ready to buy someone some stocking stuffers or some nice present for Christmas, I just saw the Iron Man race ornaments for your Christmas tree that you can order online. They're basically just these little ornaments that you can hang from your tree in the shape of the classic Iron Man M and you can put their name and I guess the race time underneath and customize all that type of stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool for you guys who are looking for some presents for some fellow triathletes. Last year I made a video that was a holiday gift list for triathletes and I'm thinking of doing that again this year so let me know down below what are some sort of gifts that you'd like to see in my list. Before we finish out the video we have some pictures from a guy called Icaro from Brazil who sent me some pictures of him doing a 75 kilometer relay race. I think he said his part was 26k and looks insane in a bunch of mud. Really interesting race, looks really cool. Definitely looks like a lot of fun. He said that him and his dad both watch my videos, so thanks for watching guys, that's really cool. If you guys wanna see one of your pictures in the end of my videos, just tag me in a picture on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. But that's it for this week, thanks for watching guys, and never stop trying.